So, who inspires me? Oh, boy. Obviously, there have been a lot of people, a lot of teachers. Uh, when I watch my son today, I have a 13-year-old son. Really, really cool kid. Really cool kid. I'd like to say I had everything to do with who he is. A small piece, the rest is all him. And it's him and other young people. I realized that that part of me, um, there was a, um, um, a behaviorist that taught us about, uh, about what's called generativity. And uh, he taught us that when we get to that middle part of our life like I am right now, I either stagnate and I expect our younger generation to get its act together, be like me, look like me, so I'll accept it. Or I look at that younger generation and I go, wow. You're bringing stuff that's that's cool, that's um, innovative, that's new, that's genuine, that's... Uh, I even love that you're questioning what we've done before. So I really am inspired by our younger generation that is, that's keeping us all energetic and alive and looking at ways of the world that we didn't look at before. You know, with our, with the, the expanded view that we have of the world, um, for our younger generation, it's no big deal to, to get on Skype today or, or text somebody in another country and be far more open to um, diversity. So I, I'm excited about that because I, I came from a, a place of being pretty, um, pretty narrow-minded, um, not real accepting of change and difference and all that. So, so you know, and I, I'm inspired in many different places, but I'll, I'll say our young people. And as far as book, man, I love books. I love books that... that um, that both challenge my perspective and remind me of how wonderful and great I am. Um, and when I say that, I mean in all of us. In all of us. One of my favorite books, a couple of them, and you'd be surprised. I, I, there's business books out there. I know they're great, but I tend to, I tend to go for the books that tend to, to talk about our soul and, and who we are. Um, there's a, a book by Khalil Gibran called The Prophet. And, uh, and he reminds us in there that, that we know all the good stuff about all of us. And he just, he just reminds us. And another one that, is, that in many ways has been my mantra is a, a book by Herman Hesse um, called Siddhartha. And it's, it's, a, it's a story for all of us about no matter what path we take, um, that we, we may have gone to some dark places, but we're not lost souls. Within every one of us is a greatness um, that we just, we just hasn't awakened in us yet. So it doesn't matter how dark our path has gotten, how beaten down we have gotten, there's a light inside all of us that if we're able to somehow just speak to that and, and even invite someone in that may help to shine a light on that part of us, we have got greatness in us that is just beyond anything we can even imagine. So those are a couple of them. First of all, you got to get there. You got you to be there to experience any of it. What I expect the Empowerment Conference, because we have all worked together as a team to be able to put this thing on, is that it is going to be a day, uh, four hours of uh, speakers and the connection with the audiences that is going to help people to, to, if you will, have a way of seeing that, that you know what, whatever it's been up till now, that's just about what it's been till now. They can draw a line. Moving forward, moving forward, uh, people are going to have hope. They're going to have a, a clear idea of what they can do. Um, I'm a big, big fan of identifying definitive action that we can take. It's one thing if I share with you a whole bunch of, well, here's good information, but if I don't give you something to do with it, you go home and you go, well, that was nice. Put that one up on the bookshelf. So people are going to walk away from that feeling empowered, no pun intended, empowered. They're going to be feeling empowered that they can do something to change the course of their life. And one of the questions I always, always ask, an audience will hear me ask this that day, how many times are you going to be on the planet this time? One time. What are you going to do with this one time? Now, you may come back based on belief as a frog or, you know, something else, but this one time, what are you going to do with this one? Are you satisfied with where you've gotten to or do you want something more? And people are going to walk out with a sense that they can do something more. There is something more and it's time to do something about it. So it's an event that I believe, based on my experience with the other speakers, that it's, it's one that people are really going to want to be a part of and embrace as their own because it is, it's going to be a day of empowerment for all of us. Um, well, you can contact me, uh, my website, robbraun.com, and get to the conference.
right? That's a great way because at the conference, and not only just me, but all the other speakers that are there, that's where you're going to be able to get to plug in, find out who we're about, find out what we've got to offer. Uh, the, the, those of you that are attending, you'll identify with different speakers. There'll be something that each one of them will bring that you'll go, man, I want more of them. So that's one definite way. But you can go to my website, and my website will direct you to all my social networks and all that. But And it's Rob Bond, by the way. Make sure you get those two Bs in there. Rob, two Bs, Bond.